everybody, this is Rachel from Queen Vacuum in Shrewsbury and yes, I'm on the floor of my office because I'm still on a mission to prove a point. <laughs> I was tidying up back here and I have a couple like these little weird remnant carpets which we had for like demo purposes. It reminded me of yesterday, I had like three couples come in and they were looking at meal canister vacuums and we had the same age old uh, trouble trying to help them understand the difference between Mila's electric power team, like power nozzle uh, carpet cleaning systems and the turbo air driven systems. And so I shot a video yesterday with all intentions of it being short and it wasn't, um, it was more explanatory, but I know everyone learns in different ways. But so today, as I was vacuuming this, I thought, you know what, here would be another good show and tell. I have another video that's very in depth about this, but this would just maybe be like another layer of example, which will hopefully um, help you guys understand. The reason this is important is because when you're shopping for Miele canister vacuums, you once you pick what series you want, C3, C2, C1, then you have to decide which model is right for you. And what changes the model is the package of tools that's included with it which type of system, which has to do with how well it will clean carpeting. So all canisters do bare floors and dusting by default, easily, right? So we know that. The difference is what system they're packaged with, um, with the purpose of cleaning carpeting. And when I say carpeting, I mean rugs too. People say, I don't have any carpets, I just have rugs. It's the same thing, okay? It's just one's not nailed down. The other issue is that sometimes these rugs can be very delicate um, or just weird, <laughs> beautiful but weird, that the pile height can be really long or um, hand woven and like delicate, uh, the density changes. And the point is that when you do go to try to clean them with your vacuum cleaner, it, it can be very, very difficult. It can be physically hard to push and pull, um, but it can also either not clean them effectively or well enough to keep them looking good, keeping them clean and fresh, and keeping the pile height and, and from getting like nappy and gross. So some of these is they don't get cleaned well enough. You also may not be removing enough allergens if you have allergies in the house. But um, lastly, in some cases you could cause damage to them by using a tool that's way too aggressive, okay? So watch the video from yesterday. <laughs> I'll describe the differences between these again. But again, this is an electric power nozzle system which is a motor in it, uh, uh, an electric motor. They both have brush rollers in here that spin for the purpose of agitating the rug. It's a companion, an additional layer of cleaning uh, that works with the suction, okay, but in addition to the suction. And, but this one's controlled by an electric motor, which is very powerful, consistent. Uh, this one also happens to be adjustable, so you can change the clearance to allow room for the nap of the carpet. Um, and this is a turbo, which is just driven by air flowing through it. So this requires, as an electric motor, requires a wand that has electricals in it and a hose that has electricals in it, okay? These do not. So there's a big difference in performance. And that's what I wanna to illustrate to you. I wanna just quickly show you what these, what, like what it feels like, how these move across these different carpets. Both of these carpets here, one is kind of like woolly. Uh, so it's very long, like the pile is pretty long, but it's pretty dense. It's a little weird. <laughs> and then this other one here is, so you can see it's pretty, pretty long, but it's much shaggier. Okay. And so that makes it a little bit different. These nozzles are designed to ideally clean only low pile smooth carpets. They can work a little bit on longer piles, but as you'll see, not great. So what that means is you're going to have a lot of material that's left over and not coming out. If you're cool with that, then fine, save the money. But if you're not cool with leftovers, <laughs> you're gonna need a power nozzle system as long as your carpets are um, strong enough to be able to withstand a powerful agitation, okay? So let's get to it. Um, I'm gonna get off the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna run these so you can see. I'm gonna start with the turbo and then we'll do the second leap. Um, and as far as what I'm using, I have my Miele C3 Kona, it is an electric, you know, electrified model, which so that I can run a power nozzle, but keep in mind, any tool can go on it. So I'm gonna leave them, use the same vacuum, keep it on the same level of suction. I'm gonna leave it on high, and then um, just to make everything even, Steven, and then we'll go from there. We're on, we're on high. 
high. That's where I'm gonna leave it. So sorry for the abrupt end on that. I had to go get a customer, but um, I hope that made sense to you guys. Now you're always welcome to make an appointment to stop in for yourselves and try, you know, the different meal products out and see how that feels for you. We do have some different tough test carpets in here that might be a closer replication to what you have at home, so you can get an idea and a feel of which one might feel better on, you know, compared to what you're used to using and uh, just what it will feel like when you do get home. Um, but did you see the difference, okay? So if you noticed, um, I was able to vacuum the carpets with this turbo nozzle, but did you see like how we had kind of a suction problem? Because this doesn't adjust, it maintains a very, very low, close um, tolerance to the surface, and it kind of suction cups, and it was like getting stuck, and then it was actually pulling the rug around. Uh, the one way that I made that a little bit better was by opening this slider valve to give a little bit of a release, a little bit of a, a suction break, which made it better. But did you hear how, like, when I would lift this up, how this was spinning fast, but the moment I put it down on the rug, it slowed down considerably. And in some cases, like on this carpet, it pretty much stopped, which means now it's not agitating. You're suctioning, but you're not agitating, and you're not, it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So there's a limit to that. With the electric power nozzle, you saw that this maintained, you could hear it, you could see it, you could, I feel it. Um, it maintained consistent rotation speed, meaning that it kept fast, so that it was agitating like it was supposed to. And where I felt it was like a little hard to push or it sounded a little bogged down, I was able to raise up my clearance here. I had it on one just for argument's sake. I brought it up to about three. I could have maybe gone to four. And again, that just raises the clearance a little bit more to allow for the nap of the of the carpet and that felt better but did you see even though this head is considerably heavier than the turbo if you notice when I was back here <laughs> I was not pulling the rug around uh, I was able to roll over this has nice big like wheels on the back which really do help it roll around when you're transporting, but it really does help too when you're on a rug to help it move better. That's the idea, is to move around um, freely. So I hope that made sense. I hope it was helpful. Again, schedule your own appointment to come in and browse or to um, get a little bit more time to actually uh, 
um, try some of this stuff out for yourself and learn for yourself. Um, and then when you buy with us, you're going to get all the other freebies <laughs> and great service that you get for having bought it from Queen Vacuum. Um, go to queenvacuum.com to learn more about all the things that make us so, so very, very different from internet sellers and big box stores. Uh, not only the, um, the information, the education, the, the teaching that we do to help you understand what you're buying so you can make a better decision for yourself, but we're here for you to back this product and maintain it for the life of it. And most of the vacuums that have HEPA filters, we also send reminders to remind you to change that filter and um, also provide a free hour's worth of service on that vacuum every single year um, as a loyalty gift because you bought your vacuum here and when you purchase your HEPA filter here, we waive that service charge and that keeps your vacuum running at 100% for its entire life. So um, learn more on queenvacuum.com, watch more of our videos, there's links to our YouTube channel and to specific videos talking about this uh, this subject, the turbo versus power nozzle debate. Um, we have a few of them on there and a lot of other information on our site. So do utilize those resources and educate yourself before you come in. So when you come in, you can have a much more um, easy, free experience, understanding we can be talking on the, uh, on the same level, using the right lingo and understanding each other better. So you'll have a much better experience and buy the best value for your home and your budget, okay? So we thank you for watching, and thanks for dealing with all these cheesy videos, but we really do hope they help. We love you guys, we hope to see you soon, and in the meantime, stay tuned to queenvacuum.com. Bye.